Hello everyone, this is Artorius from Graphic River and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the animated snow Photoshop action to create some stunning snow animations ranging from calm snow to some very violent blizzards. Now the beauty of this action is that it is seamlessly repeating it lasts for one second and repeats itself perfectly so you don't observe when it starts and when it ends. You can use the 20 snow effects provided to create some various sceneries. So scenes that can uh, have more or less of the effect you can place as many of them as you want. This is a sample scene created using three snow effects. You can see it playing. It lasts for one second and it is repeating. Notice you don't notice when it starts and when it ends. You can save this uh, this effect you are creating using the action as an animated GIF or you can render it as a video directly from Photoshop. Okay. In order to use the action we will of course have to load it into Photoshop. To load the actions I will have the actions panel opened. You can toggle it on or off from the window actions if it's off for you. Click here and load actions and we will load the animated snow Photoshop action. It was already loaded for me, but uh, I loaded it another time. You can see the the action here in the full. What the action does basically, it's it's allowing you to place the snow effect uh, very easy. So, in order to demonstrate the use of the action, I'm going to delete these three layers that I have, leaving me a JPG image, the original image. It has no snow effects right now, just a photo. You can see it has the background layer. Okay, with the action selected, I'm going to click on play. And we will be prompted for a snow effect to select. Now, this is the structure of the files you have downloaded. You actually downloaded the zip file and this is what's inside it. It's the information file, the action that we loaded a bit earlier and the animated snow effects folder. Now in this folder there are 20 snow effects and we will have to select one of them. Let's say is no seven. For the scene, I believe I used the. Uh, no, I believe I used the. Uh, the snow effects uh, eight, nine, and ten. So opening folder. Snow eight. We have. Thirty. JPG files, which are. 
in a sequence. So it's no eight zero 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 zero. It's no eight zero zero one zero two zero three zero four zero five up to zero twenty nine. These JPG images are creating the one second snow effect. So when we select the, the effect, we will need to select the file name 0000. So the one ending in 0. This is the first image in the sequence of images that are creating the snow effect so we will select this file ending in zero in windows you notice there is a check mark here which we cannot modify it says image sequence so photoshop is identifying all the images here as a sequence of images and when I'm selecting the first one Photoshop actually will use all of them to create the the video file the animation which will be placed over our image so with zero file the file ending in zero selected I'm clicking on open and we have a layer here called animated snow effect it is a smart layer we also can see it in the timeline panel which we can show it or hide it from the window timeline So we have this file in the timeline, we can click on play right now, first it is rendering the file and now it is playing and you can see the animation. Now, Uh, there's something important I, I have to tell you. You have to use an image which is this size, 1920 by 1080 pixels. That is full HD in size. Because the these no effects are full HD in, in size also. So try to use an image of this size if the image is smaller there will be no problem because the these no effects will be larger than your image and uh, it will be okay if you use a larger image than this size you will notice the the snow effects uh, have edges right here so use an image which is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels or smaller okay so we have used the action once to create this layer it is a smart layer it also has a brightness and contrast smart filter applied which is disabled you can enable it for some extra opacity that is visibility of the effects it is a brightness and contrast filter and you can make the snow effects more visible okay as I said you can create a scene where you have multiple snow effects you only have to play the action again 
to select another snow effect, snow 9 in this case, and bring it into the scene. And again, snow 10. You can make the effect more visible by toggling on the brightness filters. And now clicking on play, rendering and playing and you have this result. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. I created 20 snow effects. They are done in uh, using 3D software to have this realistic snow flakes generated. Some of them are invisible, that is, uh, they have a visible snowflake form. They can be used for uh, close ups. Here are some other scenes I have. Also, rendering. Wait a bit. So, this is another scene. You can notice the direction of the of the snow and you can almost feel the wind passing and howling okay this is another scene where the snow is more gentle there are some snowflakes visible here so in this scene I have I have two visible snow effects placed. There is a third one, but it's hidden right now. I played with this in a bit. So it's perfectly looping. This is another scene, rendering, and another scene. Okay, this is a bit different. There are some snow flakes falling gently, and some of them are flying towards us. Uh, I used a mask on the snow flakes falling gently. So, uh, they seem to be falling behind these two uh, subjects. And only the, the snow which is flying towards us is visible and seem to be in front, coming in front of the subject. So, the snowflakes falling gently don't come over the subject, they are behind the subject. To do that, I uh, only created on layers such as this one, I created a mask. And in this mask I brushed with an opposite color, being black, using a brush. I brushed uh, 
the contour of the subject. So using the mask I can hide part of the layer. You can see here. If disabling the mask, you will see the snowflakes in front. And the result is different. Okay, here is another scene. This is a bit more violent. And another one. And one more. So you can use different effects, you can place them over your image and have the final result that you want. Ok, when you want to save to export the result, you can either go to File export say for web and using a smaller size something like 600 and export as a gif which will be animated it is first rendered and you can set the animation looping to forever this is how it looks you can play with the settings to achieve more quality or less file size so you can save it as an animated gif which you can see it is perfectly repeating you can save it in any size but a larger size resolution will increase the file size or you can render it as a video from the timeline panel in this version of Photoshop I'm using Photoshop CC 2017 And you can render it as video using uh, Adobe Media Encoder if you have it installed. And render it in full HD. And you can use this one second composition in your videos. You can repeat it as many times as you want. And place it in the video editor and use it in your projects whatever your needs might be okay so basically this is uh, everything I can tell you thank you very much for watching my tutorial